Hello, friends. We have already had half of our day, right, Ash? Yeah. Abby is here with me as well. And we have been at the mall. We got our obligatory pretzels and a drink. Sat in the car and ate those. We went to the mall to get something for myself. I was a little selfish today. Jason will find out tonight what that is. Okay. Um, but you show what you found. I didn't go in expecting to get anything for them. Abby went to shop for herself but didn't find anything. But look what she got for church. Little Miss Feminist and doesn't want to wear dresses anymore. So even though she has a dozen dresses in her closet, right Abby? Yeah. Abby's wearing pants too to church, which I'm all for. I'm all for. I'm, I'm raising little feminists. Um, but show them what you got. I was shocked when she ran over to it. We were at Zara and I looked, I was looking for a cardigan for her to wear over the shirts and stuff she has to wear with her pants that she currently does have. She found this. Hang on. Meanwhile, let me show you the view we have. Well, I'll show you the view in a second. She found it or got it all ready to go. It's a little one piece. Looks it's like that. Hold so it's like made out of material, like a blazer, but it's a whole one piece. I it's so it cute. Yeah, she wants to wear it, wear it. Okay. She wants to wear it to school. She's going to wear it for church tomorrow, and then we can figure out what day of the week she can wear it that is non PE or, or not rainy. Right, no, and making sure the boots. Look how cute, though. Can you see the pattern on it? It's like that hound's tooth pattern. But we tried it on. The line at Zara was clear out the door uh, to try on and to purchase. So we tried it on over her t-shirt and shorts and it fit. And uh, we're, we got it. Sat in line for 20 minutes. But you talk to people. Now we're kind of killing time. Let me show you what view we have right now. And we are over here in Kirkland. And we're here at the waterfront. And normally you can see Seattle over there. Yeah, you can't see Seattle. That is how bad the smoke is. It's bad again today. And Ashley, what was our sad news at seven o'clock this morning? I don't get to do my game. And yeah. I have one more game. Your game was canceled. Yep, and they that means I only get one more game. Yeah. And that we also only have, only have one, one chance to do your Halloween dance. They're probably gonna let us do it one more time. I don't know. You might be able to find it like a high school game. Today. I know. Maybe they, yeah, maybe they can sneak them into a high school game. Um, but the bad smoke just obliterated the skies overnight and it it's did really not get so better nice. as everyone expected it to. I think, what what did we see the number at this morning when we were driving to Bellevue? It was like one one six, no, it's 170 or something. 170 it's still. Here than it is where we live. Yeah. So bad. But why are we here at the waterfront? Oh, there's some girls here. Hang on. Oh, there's Deanna. Oh, is that one of their friends? I know her, yeah. Okay. So Kaylee is coming down here with Jacob and all their friends. In fact, one of them is here. And they are going to homecoming tonight. Deanna. Deanna. Tell it again. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they're coming down here to get their photos taken. Um, the whole group is here. Um, one of the moms has texted me and she's like, can you get pictures of my daughter? Cause she just had a baby, not the daughter, but my friend just had a baby. And, uh, she's like, I am not hauling all of my children down there. It's like easily a half hour away from where we live. And so I was like, yeah, I'll get pictures of your daughter. Don't worry about it. I'll send them to you. But Kaylee and Jacob are on their way and we are going to get their photos taken. It just was out of the way to go all the way back home and then come here. So we're just sitting here waiting and um, I might go play with what I purchased at the mall. Okay, she put her outfit on. She doesn't have the right shoes on. Let me see. Show me your outfit. It's cute.
Okay. Go out so anybody. Jason came he home. Has to make physical contact. So Jason came home and he's like, "Well, I kind of got a cool gift." Okay, do it. This is for you and, and me Kaylee and Kaylee. And and Abby. And, yep. Oh my gosh, that's a freaking taser. I know, it makes you jump every single time. <laughs> I better turn yes. it off. I don't want to zap myself. <laughs> so <laughs> I didn't know what it was, and all of a sudden he like zaps it, and I'm like, "Holy crap!" So we have been talking a lot about this with our girls about being careful when you're going into the store and like parking and going into stores and then coming back out and watching for things to be put onto your windshield or into your door handle. If you see anything like that, especially if you're a woman, go back into the store, get help, get a security guard, have them walk you to your car and then don't go straight home. Call someone, drive to the police station, like make sure no one is following you because that is how they are doing um, trafficking. Yeah. I have a little one in the room, so I ha can't quite say what that is. But those tasers, I wouldn't save them for Christmas. I think you need yeah, to give it to the I girls. So. Yeah, I think Kaylee would be, it's fine tonight going to homecoming and whatnot. Oh, yeah, but sure. <laughs> <laughs> I think um, it's definitely like when I send them off to Target, I would much rather. So I watched the video. I was just telling him oh, this. I watched the video you on. You have the pink one. Yeah, I don't know. No, know. they're gonna need different ones eat, like to know which one. Okay, I don't want them to argue over. Okay, I'll talk. Well, to they you. just ask them what one they I'll want. Abby's upstairs, or she's making brownies. Anyway, so I watched this TikTok video yesterday, and it was talking about how the woman was always arguing with her husband about parking so far away from the door, which you know, Jason and I have <laughs> argument, and not parking by anyone, and the furthest away, and whatever empty stalls around the car. But we as women don't get that pleasure to be able to do that. We need to park as close to the building as possible, especially if we're alone or if we're with kids. One, it's not as hard for me now that the kids are older, you know, and getting them into the store, strollers or car seats and all that kind of stuff, toddlers. But for our safety, like nowadays, even in a nice safe town, we have to stay close to that door, stay, stay close to like the, what do you call it, the shopping cart you know, put away area or being in a well lit area. We don't have that pleasure like men do to be able to park clear at the end of the parking lot with no light, no security cameras. You know, we don't get that pleasure, unfortunately. So anyway, I have been back here working on my desk, uh, working on videos and um, uh, anyway, just playing with my new toy that I bought at the mall today and showing Jason that I got it and we can ask what his uh, thoughts are on that, but it was very fun to go and take Kaylee's homecoming pictures and got a few videos of her. She's so pretty. Uh, everyone that was there, like all the parents were like, oh, she's the one who got hurt at the high school game. Like I, there was only one boy in, and, and Veronica um, that really knew, that I knew personally. And so all the other parents, you know, they were like, oh, that was, that was Kaylee. And so we kept having to take the brace off, which meant she had to take her shoe off. And then Jacob would kind of help her hobble out to take pictures. And then she'd hobble back. And then we put the brace back on, put the shoe on. And um, Ashley was kind of our little go-to girl to help Chelsea or to help Kaylee. Um, but then they went to uh, Maggiano's, which is Italian for dinner, which is great because with a crowd that size, Italian uh, family si family style dinner is perfect because everyone just can share the spaghetti and the lasagna and the the breads and whatnot and that'll be kind of fun for them and then they'll head to the homecoming dance the homecoming dance is still on because it's inside and they don't have to worry about the air quality which is still bad today um so she'll have a fun time and let I me mean, just kind of think what else is going on abby's making brownies and jason and i have game night in Oh, I had to turn my phone off. I had to power it down because I didn't update on it. Turn it back on. It is 6.10. We need to leave in like a half hour to go for game night. Battery slashing. Perfect timing. I'm going to put the camera away, get some more stuff done before we go to game night. We have not met with our friends for weeks now. Um, we didn't meet before we went to Hawaii. Then we went to Hawaii. We couldn't meet after. And then with church changes, um... We weren't, weren't able to meet last Saturday as well. It's been a long time since we've met with our friends and we're very excited to go hang out with them. Um, so we'll be back with you when we head over there 
and then maybe afterward and let you know how our night went, but we're very excited to get together with our friends and have an adult night. The kids here will just have leftover pizza and rest. Abby's back hurts her, so she is up on a heating pad just resting for the day. When she does the stuff like this where she's gone and up and out and about all day, she has to chill and I likely will not go to church tomorrow. Um, even though we have new people joining us at church tomorrow, we combined our boundaries and have a whole bunch of new people to meet. This this day today will do her in for tomorrow. She won't be able to go out tomorrow, which is unfortunate, but let her rest tonight and tomorrow and we'll be back with you guys because we're going to go now and have a fun time. Okay, we just got here for game night. So I'm going to tuck the camera away and we're going to go play and have snacks. I'm very hungry. I've had basically a liquid diet with some cottage cheese and a pretzel for dinner, for food. Like that's all I've had today. So I'm hoping that everyone brought good food. Of all the magic places in the world I've been to, this is where my heart is. Oh, you know it's true. No matter where I go, I'm coming home to you.